This man is a genius. He created a language of his own and it was this language that saved his life. During World War II, German soldiers lined up Jews then pull the trigger. Take a closer look. There's a smart guy who fell down before shooting. He was discovered and the soldiers were preparing to execute again. But at this moment, the prisoners were crying and saying, I'm not a Jew, but the Persian. After speaking, he took out a Persian book from his arms. However, this prisoner is a Jew. This book was just exchanged for bread just now. He doesn't understand Persian either. After hearing this, the soldier felt like he had found a treasure because their captain wants to learn Persian. Using canned meat as a reward to search for Persians. Just find it. You can receive a reward of 10 canned meat at once. The soldier brought the prisoner to the captain's presence. The captain opened the book and wrote a name for Reza on the page. He asked the prisoner if it was his name. The prisoner immediately said yes. At this point, the prisoners had a new name. Reza. The captain asked him again how to say dad in Persian. Reza paused for a second, but he still made up a word. Then the captain asked him to speak a paragraph in Persian. It's over now. But Reza is a clever Jew. In order to survive, Reza had to make up a random sentence. <laughs> Listening to Reza speaking so fluently, captain was overjoyed. So he sent Reza to work in the kitchen. The captain wants Reza to teach himself Persian every night. That's it. Reza's life is temporarily safe, but it's not that easy to get through this. He needs to prepare more words. So he took advantage of his time working in the kitchen. Write words for everything he can see. For example, bread, meat. But it's not easy to remember one by one correspondence. He forgot the word meat as soon as he turned around. He can only remake the words. But if something goes wrong in front of the captain, he will only lose his life. So his whole day's energy is spent on how to remember the words he made up at night. The captain came over to learn Persian. He is a very planned person. Just say he only needs to learn four words every day. Over 1000 in a year like this. Reza who created words for a day. Easy to handle. But the captain came up with a new vocabulary. Kitchen is not in Reza's vocabulary. So he can only create one now. Onurdan. So Reza struggled through the test. Meanwhile. The captain once again warned Reza, if you are a fake Persian so I will kill you. This makes Reza live in fear every day. When others are sleeping, he can only keep reciting the words he created. The captain is also quite serious. He not only made word cards but also reviewed them every day. He is very hard working and eager to learn. But the next day he changed his plan. Decide to change the daily learning volume. Increase from 4 words to 40. Reza felt pain after hearing it. He can't even make up 40 every day. He still needs to remember one by one. How smart are Jews? This man is trying to survive, pretending to be a Persian and teaching a German captain to speak Persian every day. It's actually the language he made up himself. This day, the captain asked him to register the names of the principles of war within 45 minutes. And the captain specifically instructed him, don't forget the 40 words in the evening. The list that Reza anxiously filled out. Just as he was about to turn the page, the paper just blocked the first half of the name. He suddenly noticed, take a few letters in the middle of each name. It comes a new word. In that case, it's not a problem how many words to make up. When the captain asks questions, he just peeked at the list on the table. So he successfully survived the third test. When he was cooking for the prisoners, ask the names of each prisoner and remember them by heart. In the past six months, he didn't show any flaws, but the accident still happened that day. The captain asked the tree how to say it in Persian. Reza said renter directly. But as soon as he finished speaking, he regretted it because it used to mean bread. Now he exposed his identity. The captain slapped him in the face. Then he grabbed Reza's clothes and started hitting him. Reza explained that this is a polysemous word. But the captain couldn't even listen. He threw Reza into the quarry. Let him work with high intensity. Reza fainted to the ground before holding on for a week. Soldiers can only have someone carry him away. In his slumber, he kept talking to himself. The high tension of the spirit make him subconsciously speak fabricated Persian. Soldiers don't understand. The soldiers had to call the captain over again. Captain listened to what he said. <laughs> He's calling her mother to say he wants to go home. The captain feels that people are in a subconscious state. It's impossible to tell lies. It seems that he was wrong about Reza. So someone was sent to take him back to the concentration camp. Reza is more cautious to increase the captain's trust. He also volunteered to have a conversation with the captain in Persian. This makes the captain think Reza is a good teacher. The captain felt guilty for wrongly blaming him before. So he gave Reza a new set of clothes. Just apologize. But the usual cleanup of the concentration camp is coming soon. It is said to be transporting Jews to other places. Actually, 
it was secretly gathering them for execution. During this period, Reza will be sent by the captain to a farm, and the compatriots behind him are unable to escape death. When Reza comes back again, previously, concentration camps were full of people. Now it's becoming empty. Thousands of compatriots have already become the souls of the dead under the gun. And in a few days, there will be a new batch of prisoners of war. They refilled the cell. Reza is still taking down the names of these people while cooking. Incorporate them into Persian. Everything is going smoothly. On this day, soldiers were interrogating new prisoners of war. Discovered a real Persian. The soldiers who were already tired of Reza were excited. This time, he finally had a chance to kill Reza. He created a language using the names of 2840 principles. And the purpose of doing all this is to survive. He disguised himself as a Persian. His name is Reza. That day, the soldiers dragged Reza into the cell. Soldiers want to expose Reza's lies in person. But when the soldiers arrived in the cell, that real Persian was actually killed. The soldier grabbed Reza's neck. And at this moment, a prisoner stood up. He voluntarily admitted that he was the murderer. The soldier directly pulled the machine gun. This prisoner of war has a weak brother, not just a mute. His younger brother can't do physical work either. His younger brother has been severely beaten by German soldiers. And the soldiers don't feed his younger brother. After the Reza Reza saw it. Bring some food out of the kitchen. Reza secretly gave it to this pair of brothers. They rely on these foods. The mute brother barely survived. When older brother heard the soldiers find the real Persians to repay the favor, he terminated the Persians in advance. That's how Reza narrowly escaped the disaster. Reza never thought of the good cause he had planted unintentionally. Unexpectedly received good results. But the cost is somewhat tragic. This incident also changed Reza. The commander has received instructions. Evacuate concentration camps and secretly execute prisoners and destroy all evidence of concentration camps. The captain found Reza. The captain plans to secretly send him out of the concentration camp. Reza has had enough of the fear of not seeing the next day here. But the captain promised him, as long as the captain is alive, he will be safe. But he still appeared in the execution team the next day. The captain who learned this news. The captain quickly chased out. He pulled out Reza and the team. Reza knew that the German army was about to shoot all the prisoners. So he exchanged clothes with mute brother one day in advance. Leaving the hope of life to the mute brother. He is prepared to die generously. This can also be considered as a reward for their brother's kindness. The captain asked him. After listening, the captain was speechless. He returned to the camp and packed his bags. Take Reza out of the cell. Taking the risk to escape the concentration camp with him. They parted ways in the snow. A few days later, the captain came to the Persian capital with the hope of rebirth. He confidently spoke fluent Persian. The soldiers at the entry don't understand at all. <laughs> The captain collapsed. He tried to escape but was caught by the soldiers. He still doesn't know. He struggled to learn Persian words for over two years. But the names of over 2,000 principles he had already imported. Reza, who escaped, arrived at the Allied shelter. The officer asked him, Do you still remember the names of other compatriots? In the concentration camp, Reza said slowly, Je peux vous donner... 2840 noms. Tous les noms et... Les prénoms de 2840 personnes. This concludes the movie. This is an alternative war themed movie, adapted from real events. A war scene without a single frame, but showcasing the cruelty of war. As the only person who has survived, it is undoubtedly great. If he didn't survive, the names of the 2840 prisoners of war, who were strictly enforced by the Nazis, will be submerged in the merciless flames of war, disappear in the records of history. Okay, that's all for today. I'm Robin. See you next time.